Hello, everyone. This is Marco from Semantic Mastery. And we briefly mentioned a new charity initiative that we're conducting during our hump day hangout on December 13th, this past Wednesday. Well, we've worked out all the details and it gives me great pleasure to announce, to let you know that our new Subs for Kids initiative is ongoing as we speak. Now, please don't get confused and think that we're taking a bunch of kids to Subway for a meal. Maybe that wouldn't be a bad idea. But what we are announcing is our initiative to buy supplies, uniforms, and books for children who live in abject poverty in Costa Rica. Um, guys, we're, we're talking about the poorest of the poor, right? People who have a hard time putting a, a daily meal on the table and, and would never be able to send their kids to school without help. Some of them manage to send their kids to school anyway, but their kids often end up going to school hungry, barefoot, with limited supplies, and often without the books they need to complete their basic schoolwork. Now, those of you who are from the third world, like I am, now you know exactly what I'm talking about when I say that some of these people have absolutely nothing and cannot even give their, their children proper nourishment, much less uh, proper education without some type of assistance, some type of help. Now, just so you have a bit of context, I was one of those kids. I hope I don't get all choked up because, you know, th th this, is, this is a part of my life that I, that, that I don't usually talk about. But, you know, I, I know what it's like to go to bed hungry. And I know what it's like to wake up the next day and not know where my next meal is coming from. I know what it's like to see my mom, mom and dad scrambling to try to buy everything that I needed so I could go to school. Now, although we were extremely poor, my parents always emphasized the importance of going to school and getting an education as a way of breaking the poverty cycle. Again, I don't like to talk about myself. This isn't about me. Uh, I just want to let you know what the, why this initiative is so near and dear to my heart. I see myself reflected in these children, and my heart goes out to them and their families. Just so you have a little bit more context, my wife and I work with several charities. One of the charities that we're involved with goes into the, the, the worst, the worst of the worst neighborhoods in Costa Rica and tries to keep children away from drug dealers, from drugs, and from turning to a life of crime. Volunteers go door to door and they speak directly to the families and let them know that there are options, right? The organization provides uh, tutoring centers and tutors, uh, they have volunteers and, and they provide family assistance. And I was, I was just wondering, did, did you guys know that, that just two hours of tutoring per week is, is often all a child needs to begin excelling in school? Uh, it, it's children who just don't have the opportunity to excel rather than children who cannot excel, if, if that makes sense to you guys. Now, another charity that we're involved with goes into marginalized communities in, in the southern zone in uh, Costa Rica, and it helps bring Christmas to these communities. Uh, this year, we were able to collect enough toys and meals for over 100 children in five different communities who would not otherwise have been able to celebrate Christmas. And in fact, many of the families in, in these communities won't even tell the ch their children that it's Christmas because they can't afford to get presents or provide a meal. And believe it or not, some of the children didn't even know what Christmas was until the, the organization began its work in these communities. I mean, that, 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 that's how poor these people are. They won't even tell the children that there's Christmas, that you know, the, 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 the message of hope, the message of giving. The, if they have a hard enough time providing food for the day, let alone buying Christmas presents and everything that's involved with Christmas. Now, some of you might not know, but I recently spent six weeks in Argentina having back surgery and then recovering. And while I was there, I, I began thinking about what else I could do to help. What else I could do to make life better for, for these people and these children who have nothing. Now, my wife and I give our time and money. But I thought, you know, they just had to be something else that could be done. Now, this is where this subs idea began since, since 
I know that education is the best way known to break the poverty cycle. Uh, so I thought, why not do something that will help these kids with their education? Now, it takes $100 to buy one child uh, the supplies, uniforms, and books he or she will need for the entire school year. The school year in Costa Rica begins the first week of February, and it ends the second week of December. This means that parents have the task of starting to get everything together right after Christmas, which makes things even more difficult for them since they usually make like less than five bucks a day, guys. I mean, that these are the people that we're dealing with. So spending $100 on subs means, uh, for, for these families means taking away from other necessities or simply not being able to buy what the children need and not sending them to school even. I mean, I mean it, it gets that bad. So I got together with my partners and I, I explained the situation. I explained what we were trying to do. And so we decided that we would send 10 kids to school. We're going to donate the, the, the money that's necessary for those 10 kids. And I decided I'm, I'm going to personally match that amount. What we're asking is for the Semantic Mastery community, our, our membership, our followers, to donate whatever they can. Every dollar that, that's donated gets us closer to our goal. And our goal is to raise enough money to send 100 kids to school this year. But, you know, why stop there? We're asking the, the SEO, internet marketing community, to pitch in with whatever they can donate. If you can match us, that would be perfect. If you can exceed it, and in turn we exceed our goal, that just means we send more kids to school. There are hundreds of children who need help. So please join us. Let's help as many children as possible. And then you know, we'll just look to, to helping more. So thank you for listening to me. Thank you for everything that, that, that you've done for us this year. And thank you for your donation ahead of time. Take care.